This is the fifth video for the fourth chapter in Google SketchUp for Dummies. And this video is all about putting in interior walls while you're drafting in two dimensions in SketchUp um, using guides. So what I've done here is I've already drafted in the interior outline of the house that I live in and I've offset a little interior wall. And what I'm going to do now is use guides and the line tool to create some interior walls. And I have some measurements on a piece of paper here uh, that I took while I was actually measuring the building. And I'm going to use those to create some initial guides. To create guides, I need to use the tape measure tool. And it's right here. I'm going to click on the tape measure. And then I'm just going to zoom in with my mouse scroll wheel here so I can sort of see what I'm doing. A big mistake a lot of people make is to try and work when they're way zoomed out like this. And that's like trying to tie your shoes um, you know, with bubble gum on a stick. It's really not going to work all that well. So what you should do is just go ahead and zoom in until you can really see what you're working on. And you'll have a much better time. The guide that I need to offset over this way is uh, has got to be five feet three and a half inches from that wall. So what I could do is I could just watch the little tool tip as I move this thing along, or I can type. And I think I think I'm going to do it the latter way because it's a little easier. So I'm just going to draw it wherever it belongs, and then watch the little uh, the VCB down here, the little lower right uh, indicator. I'm going to type in five feet. 3.5, which is 5 foot 3 and a half inches, and hit enter. And now I know that I've got a guide that's exactly 5 feet 3 and a half inches from this wall, which is where I clicked to begin with. Now, interior walls in this house are about 4 and 3 quarter inches thick, so I'm just going to bring another guide over this way and type in 4.75, enter. And I need another guide coming up from this wall in this direction that's 5 feet 5 and a half inches from this wall. Uh, and that's going to define another one of my interior walls. So let's do that now. I'm just going to draw that guide up any old length. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to type in 5 feet, 5.5, so 5 and a half inches, and enter. Created a guide. And I need to offset that for the interior thickness of the wall again. So I'm going to type in 4.75 for 4 and 3 quarter inches, and hit enter. And what I've got now is some guides that are going to tell me how to draw these interior walls. Um, and I And I the guides just by using measurements that I already took with a real tape measure uh, in my real house. I'm going to go up here to the line tool and I'm going to zoom in even more. So as I zoom in here you'll see I've got the solid lines that I had before and I've got these dotted lines and those are the guides that I just created with the tape measure. Now what I'm going to do is play connect the dots. This is actually kind of a fun activity. I'm going to start here. You see where the little line says intersection right there? Now intersection is a black um, indicator dot uh, that tells you when you're on the intersection point between a guide and a line. You'll also see that when you're at the intersection point between two lines. I'm going to click here at that intersection and then draw a line over here to this intersection. And then let's just draw down in the green direction to that intersection. And look what's happened. I've created a line and another line just like that. Which if I get the select tool you'll see now this is its own face. Cool. So bingo. I know that these lines were successful because what they did is effectively clipped this whole big face that I had before into a little face like that. I'm going to use the line tool to do some more drawing here. I'm going to draw from here all the way across there. And I'm going to start here and draw from there. Click and then click just like that. And now I've drawn all the lines that I wanted to draw. Uh, time to get rid of some guides. So I'm going to go up and get the eraser and just erase this guide and erase that guide erase this guide and that guide and what I've got here is those lines drawn. Now this isn't quite enough right now because um, if you notice this little line segment right here I've actually got three of them, one there, one there, and the one that I just showed you uh, they're gonna make it difficult to do a push-pull operation on the whole wall so that I, I kind of extrude the whole building into 3D all at once. So what I want to do is erase those. So what I'm going to do is just click there to erase that little line segment, click here to erase this little line segment, and click right there to erase that line segment as well. Now when I go over here and get the select tool, you'll see what I've got. I've got one face when I click right there. This whole object, this face, consists of the exterior wall and these interior walls and this interior space. One face, nice and neat, that's the way I like it. This is the inside, and then I've got these two little rooms or faces as well, and most importantly, one face defining all the interior and exterior walls. 
that is all I was going to show you um, in this video, which is the fifth video in Chapter 4 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.